Well gentlemen, here we are again. Another motor home, another day. What are we sitting in, Tim? Just, just before you start, just to make myself good. <laughs> Lovely. Carry on. Right, today, today we're in an Eldis AutoQuest 155. So this is a, a, a two berth, but it is an occasional four as well. That's right. uh, with the two benches converted into a bed as well. Although there's no travel seat. So there's only two seat belts. Only two seat belts. That's the thing. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what sort of engine and gearbox have we got, Mark? We're on the Peugeot chassis again. So um, we're uh, uh, one ten brake horsepower on a two point two Euro five. So, uh, with a six speed gearbox. Six speed gearbox. Yeah, speed of gearbox. course, yeah. Okay. yeah. They used to only have five, didn't they? They did. The, the only two thousand and twelve yeah. models of. Yeah, it's the Euro five, five thing, five, and it, it, it's, okay. it's now six speed. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Makes a big difference as well. So, do you get any option packs on, on these vehicles from the factory? Uh, we order all of our motorhomes with the uh, Eldis Lux pack. Um, that adds £649 onto the cost of the van, but for that you get um, the underslung heating system, fly screens on the doors, um, electric step. An electric step, yeah. yeah. So, it's, it's well worth. Uh, well, we forgot about the, the, the Hecky roof light comes as part of that pack as well. Yeah, the large one, yeah. Yeah, so, that's, they're extra large, aren't they? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So again, it, worthwhile paying that little bit extra for the bits that it gives you. And they're a darn sight cheaper as a pack than they are if you were buying individual. Them as individual extras. Yeah. Uh, and do we have on, on board water tanks and waste tanks? And yeah, new for this year, Eldis have upgraded tanks. Uh, and one of the criticisms from last year was they had small tanks. Uh, this year we've upgraded, so we've got a 90 litre fresh tank and a 70 litre waste. And that's They're in big. line with everybody. I think. Yeah. So Mark, what sort of warranty cover have we got? Yeah, Peugeot warranty, uh, three years, uh, 100,000 mile uh, limit on those. Uh, but you've still got the, uh, remember you got the recovery on the first year, uh, same as you have on all the Peugeots, um, which is great. And then you've got the two year warranty that uh, Elders do for the habitation area. But on top of that, Eldis uh, are the only manufacturer on the, on the market at the moment that give a 10 year water ingression guarantee. So 10 years? 10 years, yeah. That's how confident they are. You've got to be there, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. Just I mean, this Peugeot warranty as well, uh, with, with your, your recovery uh, assistance for that yeah. first year, doesn't that give you a replacement vehicle? Yeah, it gives and you a car or a, as well. Yeah, car or a hotel. So yeah. you can either have, you know, if you do break down, they can, the vehicle needs to be recovered, you can have a car to get to your destination, or they can put you up in a hotel. And that's UK and pan European? Yes, yeah, yeah. All the way through. It's a good warrant. Yeah. Right, length on this van, for those of us in continental mode, is 23 feet 7 inches, which is 7.2 metres. Okay. Um, width is 2.2 metres, 7 foot 2, uh, with a gross vehicle weight of 3,300 kilos. So it's well under the 3.5 tonne limit. Then. Well under, yeah. Yeah. So what's. Uh, the maximum towing weight. Maximum towing weight on this is 2,000 kilos. Two tons. Now, I think I've read that um, Eldis have a special tow bar, don't they, that, that converts into bike yeah, yeah, racks. Yeah, Eldis did a deal with Witter. Yeah. Right. So and there's an approved Witter tow bar. And it's, a, it's a plug and play rear line, you know, it's uh, the matter of um, if you factory order, it's basically, you know, it comes on with it, but if you want to, it afterwards, it's just purely buying the tow bar and then uh, fitting it to. Uh, so it's all set up to be it. fitted. Yeah, something yeah. people yeah, can the do themselves. Into, uh, they can do it themselves, or they can take it to the local witter, or of course we can do it for them. So uh, you know. Uh, and do we have on, on board water tanks and waste tanks? And yeah, new for this year, Eldis have upgraded tanks. Uh, and one of the criticisms from last year was they had small tanks. Uh, this year we've upgraded, so we've got a 90 litre fresh tank and a 70 litre waste. And that's They're in big. line with everybody. Else. They're big, yeah. How much is it, Tim? Right, well, we've got a deal. We've got a special offer. What we're doing with this range is marketing it um, as an e-sale, so it's an online sale. Uh, and the price for this at the moment is £30,999. £30,999? We were in a similar motorhome yesterday that was £30,000 more expensive than that. 
for the yeah. same sort of layout That's and right. fixed bed. Yeah, buy two, one for the wife as well. It's a good idea. idea. That would save you falling out, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Now bear in mind, this one's fitted with a luxury pack. Uh, so that 30,999, you have to add 649 pounds for your luxury pack, and then you've got a 1,350 pound uh, delivery charge, which is yeah. Peugeot and Elders delivery uh, charges and, and preparation costs in there. So the, this super deal we're doing online, is that the reason we've been selling them to New Zealand? And <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> in a the nutshell, I mean, the, what the internet gives us is uh, a, a global market then that's exactly why we've sold them to New Zealand. But they're fantastic. People are finding them, aren't they, now? You know, and the fact that they're selling that quick, this is our last Eldis we've got, isn't it? On the old well, Eldis as a manufacturer, you, you may not know this, mm. but um, they've actually pretty much sold out of the entire 2012 production run. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, that five. speaks for itself. So if you're looking for one, you know, one by five, this is the one, isn't it? It's probably the only one in the country. Yeah. Pretty much so. It's the yeah. only one we've got. Yeah. The only order quest, the only eldest we've got. Yeah, we sold out of everything. Uh, as are the manufacturers. Well, those prices, it doesn't surprise me. No. Okay, so we know all about the vehicle, we know what it costs, we know the specification. What's your favourite? Oh, yeah, I mean, you've got to go for the value. You know, value for money. You get a lot for your money. And you can, you know, although you can have everything that you need, but, you know, for, for the price that you're going to pay for this van, you're on the road. But does it give you any reliability problems? You know what, the lads love these in the uh, in the in the workshop. They're ever so, you know, um, I suppose easy is the wrong the wrong word when we you know we check these vans before they go out to the customer. They're they're basic, but they do the job, and they we don't have any problems with these. So without the fancy gadgets, you get less problem. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but it's still got the fridges and the the, the cassette toilets yeah. and the showers. Just does everything you want in a motorhome. Exactly. But without those. I'd have to say, and, uh, and I would reiterate what Mark said there, feedback from customers who've got them, they're fantastic. They, they love them to bits. There's no hassle with them, no grief, they're really simple to operate and they do the job you buy them for. They're so your great. favourite feature is? Value for money, I'm sorry but it's got to be. Value for money. Well I think it's a triple decker because value for money, there's, yeah. there's just nothing on the market to beat it. Yeah.